Good morning, guys. How are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com with the weekend vlog on TV. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I'm so stressed lately, guys. But this has to get done because you guys rely on the weekend vlog every Monday and I'm going to deliver no matter what. But, guys, this is easily the busiest I have been in a long, long time. From being away from my house all last week at my parents' house, watching the pets and whatever, to being away from my house all this week working in Philadelphia with my dad, to dealing with all these emails and late night projects and my own work, managing Brand Rocket, staying up to date with you guys on social media, and trying to get out five videos a week in the process, it's incredibly stressful. Part of me wishes it was just July and I wanted to just go to Seaside Heights for a week. But I think we are going camping next weekend. Even if it's a little cool out, that's okay. We have a heater in the camper. But I just have to get away. I mean, I honestly love my work. But lately, I've just felt mentally drained. As I've said in the past, I would rather feel physically tired rather than mentally tired. Because I hate that feeling of like just a bunch of things going on in your mind. But that's okay. That's life. And hey, at least we had a productive week. We got done a 36 story high rise, our biggest job of the year. Yeah, 36 stories of condos, but it was actually kind of fun. Uh, but in the process, I lost a lot of sleep because I can't sleep that well at mom and dad's house because the pets always wake me up. But I love them, so it's whatever. Um, and we finally went to the eye doctors. Me and my dad happened to use the same eye doctor. And so that means I got new glasses. Not yet. Mine don't come in until November 10th because I'm getting mine with gunmetal and black frames. So that's going to look pretty sweet. And I got new contacts. Oh, and today's Happy Halloween, guys. Today's, yeah. Today's Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. I hope you had a great one because by the time you're seeing this, it's already November, which is insane. And that's another thing. I got to start my Christmas shopping soon. I don't, I don't really want to start. I mean, I don't want to wait until... Thanksgiving because that's usually when I wait until but if you wait until Thanksgiving you only have like a month to shop and a month isn't a long time it's going to be here before you know it anyway this is my intro guys I'm going to join my coffee have a quick breakfast and start purging my inbox so the show must go on let's make today productive because hey it is Friday and I have a pretty good weekend ahead of me because I have a Halloween party to go to tomorrow night and the diner tonight. So let's get some work done. Let's make that money, yo. Make that money to pay for that fireball that has antifreeze in it. If one more person links me to that article, guys, I really don't care about that. I mean, I've been having fireball for this long, so I highly doubt something bad is really going to come out of it. But hey, I appreciate the heads up either way. But this whole antifreeze thing, I really don't care. I'm going to continue to enjoy Fireball. I don't exactly, you know, consume alcohol to make it good for my body. I don't think anyone does. So this doesn't change anything, at least in my opinion. Mao Mao wants to come in. Ooh, sorry, I just hit his head. <laughs> come on, Maui. Good boy. Yeah, shake it off, shake it off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Happy Halloween, Mau Mau. How are you? What are you being this year? You don't know? Just a sexy kitty? You don't need a costume for that, do you? No, because you're naturally sexy. Yeah. A good job, boys. You're so flexible. My costume is ironically arriving today. <laughs> I should have said ironically. Well, maybe it's ironic. It's coincidentally arriving today because I typically wait to the last minute with my Halloween costumes every year. I'm not sure why. You'll see what I'm being. It's nothing too exciting, but I will say this. I'm bringing back a classic. This costume was so popular back when I was a kid, and I'm excited to show it off again at tomorrow night's Halloween party and tonight's diner visits. Because Halloween just happens to be on a Friday, and we go to the diner every Friday. Right, Mau Mau? Yeah, oh my god, oh my god. You're so cute. So that, that should be fun. Mau Mau! 
Yeah. Spin, spin. Please don't fall. Yes, I have my space heater going in the background if you can't hear it. Right there. It's currently 65 in here. But if you step into my living room, this is a dramatic drop. And it is, oh, 65. Okay, so I guess that's picking up the temperature from this room. But in here, stepping in, I would say it's about 69 or 70. Who dat, who dat. But, uh, yeah. Also, I have a pretty sweet package arriving today from full screen. It's part of this new advertising thing we're doing in future videos. I think you guys will really enjoy it, and I'm very, very excited to get my hands on it. And luckily, it's mine to keep. It's not something I have to send back. So, hopefully, hopefully that arrives today so I have the weekend to play around with it. Trust me, it's pretty cool. Okay, so it's not my robot, but this just arrived from FedEx. Siplicam. And as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much like drop cam, but it could actually be better. So yes, this is my newest review product. I'm looking very forward to this. It's 720p live and recorded video, up to 30 frames per second, 170 degrees field of vision, field of view, field of vision, really, David, field of view. Uh, what else? Built on microphone. This does have two-way chat, which is very nice. And it's compatible with iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. And get this, they are hooking me up with a lifetime service of recording. Something I don't have on Dropcam. Yes, it's available on Dropcam, but I'm not exactly getting the cloud recording for free with Dropcam. But with Simplicam, I am. So thank you guys so much for making this review opportunity possible. I greatly appreciate it. I don't think they're watching my vlogs. But yes, stay tuned for an unboxing on this in the very near future. Even the box is cool. It makes me think of the old iPod boxes. Remember those? The size is actually pretty similar. There you have it. My second Ask Me Anything video ever is now online. And guys, you know what? You seem to be really enjoying these Ask Me Anything videos. So thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. And as simple as those videos appear, they require a lot of work because I have to line up the music. Well, I have to find music first that actually fits well. Excuse me, space heater. Uh, then I have to line up the music, fade in and fade out at certain points, then take screenshots of all the questions and do transitions to them, make sure they appear in the right spots. So those simple Ask Me Anything videos actually do require a lot of work, but I'm very proud of the final product. I mean, they don't look that fancy, but it's definitely a step up for me, I think, because I've seen people say in the past that, David, you need to improve your quality of your videos. And I agree, certain, certain videos need improving. But then again, some videos, I mean, in terms of their styles, I don't really touch because I'm a big fan of tradition. I mean, if I find a format that works well, I typically like to stick to that format. But when I introduce new video series, like Ask Me Anything, then yeah, I'll try something new. So anyway, I'm gonna have a quick, easy lunch. One of these Volvita things are pretty good. I have a Skype call in about an hour, so I have some time to chill, and I still have some emails to do, and one of the, um, a uh, sponsorship thing to complete for you guys, an iPad Mini 2. So yes, it looks like it will be happening, let's hope anyway. So, good things ahead. Yes. Maui. 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 <laughs> Boo! Whoa! Whoa, straight out there, guys. Maui is so cute. He's just adorable. I'm getting Facebook messages. Shout out to Julianne. She just said, Happy Halloween, David. Happy Halloween, Julianne. If you're watching this vloggity vlog, fade out. Very basic lunch was basic. What the? What the? Fail, David. I tend to close my door in the winter to trap the heat in because it tends to escape into my bedroom, which is right there. And especially here, this floor gets cold in the winter. And it's already pretty cold as of today. My, oh, sorry, sorry Mar uh, Mar Murray, yeah, Murray. Valley. my face is itchy now whenever I pet him. 
Just kind of killing time until my Skype call. 45 minutes to go. I guess I'll edit Tuesday's video for my fellow Patreons. Not Patreons, I just put a stupid accent on patrons. Um, because Tuesday's video is all about Apple Pay versus Current C. Yes, that should be interesting. Interesting, indeed. So, ooh, random chip. <laughs> I, I had chips for lunch. That chip hasn't been sitting there for days, don't worry. Little snacky snack. All right guys, back to work. Back to work. Shout out to Jason Surfer app. This guy is my newest entrepreneur that I'm keeping an eye on. He just does some awesome work and he was nice enough to send me his book, Creativity for Sale, for completely free guys, nothing. So Jason, thank you so much. He also included some random pogs. I have not seen pogs in years, so that's really cool. Jason also included a business card uh, saying, go out into the world and make awesome where awesome is not. That's actually really cool. A $2 bill folded into kind of like a shirt because of this, iwearyourshirt.com. That's kind of his main project right now, and I did sign up for it, and hopefully I'll be um, hearing something in the near future. And I found out about Jason through Pat Flynn. And that's hopefully something I'll be taking advantage of soon because it's a genius idea. Again, iwearyourshirt.com. I found out about Jason's surfer app, formerly known as Jason Sandler and Jason Headset.com. Yes, he's actually changed his last name a couple of times, which I just think is a bold, bold move, but awesome at the same time. Uh, but anyway, I found out about Jason Surfer app through Pat Flynn. Uh, Pat F L Y N N. Check him out as well. Awesome, awesome entrepreneur. This is like my new thing. I love finding entrepreneurs who are creative and motivated to make some awesome things in the world. So, Jason, if you happen to watch this video, because I will be tagging your book in the YouTube video tags, thank you. Keep up the awesome work, and I will definitely continue to explore you and your work and your projects. Okay. It's getting a little hot in here. As I close the door and saw the, saw the heat trapped in. Ooh, it is warm. I think I can open this. Let some cool air in. My God. And my costume came. I'm not going to show it yet. I'm going to keep you guys guessing. Again, it's nothing too interesting. But it's interesting to me. I'm gonna make coffee because my Skype call was canceled. So, well, delayed until Monday. So that gives me more time to get stuff done and have coffee. Because why not? Today's a pretty good day. I'm feeling less stressed. Shout out to my parents for hooking me up with a pretty sweet mug from Walt Disney World. It is the same design on both sides. And yes, I am a fan of Goofy. Hi, yuck! That's a terrible impression of Goofy. I will never do that again. Ghostface from Scream. I'm bringing back a classic, guys. I'm bringing back a classic. Not counting Scream 4. Although, that was actually a pretty good movie. What the? Wow. Oh. Anyway, I also got some black gloves, which I'll put on soon. And a machete. Yeah, I know he typically uses. What the? I know it typically uses a knife, but the knife I saw on Amazon wasn't that great quality. So I wanted to mix it up a bit. And I figured, well, why not? Why not get a machete? Well, it's actually a bloody cleaver if you want to be technical with your weapons. But there you go. That is this year's costume. Of course, I'll show you the full costume in, um, in effect very soon when I have the gloves on and my cleaver unwrapped. But. I think it looks pretty awesome, and it's actually very comfy, and I will be wearing my black shoes. Oh wait, my black shoes are at mom and dad's house. Crap. That's okay. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just wear my sneakers. 
Although I'll wear my sneakers, I mean, I'll wear my black shoes to the party tomorrow night still, but I'll wear my sneakers tonight to the diner. Or I can ask my mom to bring, yeah, I'll just text my mom and ask her to bring my shoes. Okay, I'm having a full conversation with myself. Anyway, this is cool. This is my favorite costume in years because I am um, a big fan of Scream. Even though Scream 2 and 3, I mean, I think Scream 3 is the worst one out of them. But I did like the whole movie scene premise. I like being on the film set of Sydney's original house and stuff like that. And I actually just recently watched Scream 1, 2, and 3 again. Uh, you know, throughout the past week. Because they are all on Netflix, in case you're interested. Except for Scream 4. Scream 4 was actually really good, but it's not on Netflix. But I have seen it. And it was good. I enjoyed it. And I'm also bringing my horse head mask to the diner as a backup for my dad. Because my dad can't find his costume right now. So I figured, why not give this a chance? So, anyway, there you go, a preview of things to come. Good things ahead, guys. Good things ahead. Oh, God. Yeah. That's definitely gonna leave a mark. Hello, Mother. Hello, David. I'm not as close as you think I am. Oh, you're close. I'm not. Oh, you're close. Just what kidding. up, peeps? We are at the Colonial Diner, obviously. It's Friday night. I did. Have some sour cream. Potato skin. Not much left because I thought you I'm not wearing my mask right now because I can't eat with my really? mask unless I cut a hole. We didn't notice. Ow. I don't know if that's an insult or not. There's Dad. How are you? Mm -hmm. Nice shirt. Yeah. Nice costume. I will be putting my mask on soon. I'm waiting for someone to leave. That way we can actually have fun. New order. You uh, see that cleaver I showed before? That's his blood. Nope. Yeah. Oh, so mom, oh, today is one of the few days you can actually get away with murder. You would blend in like a mother. Nope. Seriously. Yes, of course. Did you see they that wacko in Pennsylvania? Who? That they went on a manhunt for in Poconos. Oh, but it wasn't so now, today like it didn't happen today? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I thought you meant someone murdered so someone and they were actually trying yeah. to blend in. Well, that's why they were going to cancel Halloween. Oh, cancel Halloween. But it's on again. Not to give anyone ideas, but today's... One of those days you could definitely blend in. Definitely. Like me? Scream mask? Kill someone? Put some fake blood on there? Or real blood? And I don't want you to be afraid, but that's clams in there. Thank you. Clams! <laughs> this oh, is different. Um, I actually like clams. I know, but... Uh, look. Oh, is it... Look oh. at all them clams. They look like potatoes. Real clam. No, these are these are the clams, David. Them things. Oh, okay. I was gonna <laughs> say that was some weird looking clams. It's really white. <laughs> okay, here we go. First taste. It looks really good. Old England clam chowder. Or New England. Apparently, this is new because of new ownership, new food, new which chef. makes it very interesting. The new chef. Silver coins got excellent. So can you get a little closer, please? It's wide angle. Thanks, Mom. Just call me fat. Just kidding. Well, why don't you show them your ears real quick? Even though I already showed you. Explain. Ears from Disney. Actually, not this time. Two years ago, I got them. And I have a. Cute you were in Disney two years ago? Yes. When? Oh, that's right. When I watched your house. That's when Hunter was only a year old. Right, here we go. Mm. 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 It looks like my gravy. It tastes like your gravy a little bit. It looks like, like my gravy. I mean, it, it tastes gravy. Yeah. You drop the celery. Yeah, yeah, show this, please. Mm, ooh. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Very good. I need pepper. Hey, Suli, what up, dude? When are you coming to visit the <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Yeah, what Suli, dude. Happy Halloween. Yes. Happy Halloween. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that hair. Show it off. Show it off. Oh, she got my hair. Suli. Dance for us. Dance. Dance. She got a new hair. Hello. Yeah. Okay, and Suli. <laughs> we say dance and she dances. I love that. Get her fired. I know. We're going to get fired. Why do I look so fantastic, don't I? <laughs> she got a new man. There's a new owner in town. There's tension here at the diner. Not right now. <laughs> yeah, not right now. The second there isn't. He wants everyone. He wants everyone to call him Master. <laughs> and his last name is Bader. Put it together, Master Bader. Oh my God. Here, take your cup. My cup. He's Yeah. All right. Peace, whack. Peace, Wackatan. 
Mike attack pack. I like Anna better than Elsa. <sighs> Lord help us. Why aren't you ever anything? Ow! So I didn't hurt. Why, why aren't you ever anything scary for Halloween? I don't like scary. I love scary. Wasn't like Cruella Deville one here? I just watched Scream one, two, Melissa and three within like the past like week or two. Melissa dressed up like Cruella Deville. My Melissa? Wasn't I Cruella Deville? Have you seen Scream four yet? It's good. It's it's a little comedic for my taste. Like I like horror movies. I don't like. I mean, Scream is kind of tongue in cheek, as it says in Netflix description. Yeah. Scream one is really good. Scream two is good. Scream three is not bad. Uh, but it's just not as good as 1 and 2. But Scream 4, I think, brings back that feeling of Scream, but with a little too much comedy in my opinion. Did you see the They were skulls. I saw them. I didn't say them. Oh, speaking of skulls, I, sh I should have worn my Loot Crate shirt tonight with the cats. What? It's like a skull made of kittens. You want a shirt? Yeah. David. I'll probably wear that Sunday. Choo choo! Alright, time to go. I am home. And shout out to Lainey, my number one whack attack for get me Reese's for Halloween. And yes, I said Reese's. I'm trying to get better at saying Reese's because Reese, the name Reese, Reese's, not Reese's. Anyway, Wawa was awesome. Tonight was awesome. Diner was awesome. Seeing the family, awesome. And guys, let me tell you, the chicks dig serial killers. Seriously, fact right there. I was just making my coffee and I saw this really cute I guess little Bo Peep she was. She was she was pretty hot. Anyway, that's kind of besides well, that actually is the point. She was getting drinks, I was looking at her, she was looking at me like this huge smile, I'm like, is she looking at me or she's looking at some other dude? And she was like, nice. I was like, thanks. So there you go. If you wanna get a girl, just go around hacking and slashing people and chopping off heads, so you heard it here first. Over at youtube.com slash the creative one. And if you go to jail, don't blame me. You can only blame yourself. It's time to take a break from killing and enjoy a movie. -doo 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 -doo. Oh, completely off topic, but check it out. I finally spent a whopping $10 and got this, a USB cooling fan for my Wii U. So, that should be interesting. Because as you probably know, I have been extremely neglective of my Wii U. I mean, I'm loving my PS4, I'm loving my Xbox One. I mean, I'm even loving my Wii U, even though I haven't played it in literally months. Uh, but it's just when the fan went out, I didn't really feel like calling up Nintendo because I think it was out of warranty anyway. So I didn't really feel like sending it in, waiting for it to be repaired, blah, blah, blah. So I figured, why not give this a shot? I mean, it's $10. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I don't see why it won't work. It's just a USB powered cooling fan and it should cool down my console just fine because I was finally getting towards the end of the Wind Waker HD because I never beat it on the GameCube. But then that happened, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I almost went a full year. I almost went a full year without fixing my Wii U because I think that died in maybe February or March. So yeah, it's gonna be good to have it back. But now I'm gonna heat up my chicken quesadilla from Wawa. From Wawa now from the diner and watch the rest of Glass House because I've never seen it. Um, I started it last night. I, um, I got about halfway through. It was actually really good, surprisingly. And yeah, it has that girl from Deep Impact. What's her name? Let me see. Is it Lily Sobieski? That girl right there. Yeah, that one. You see her? That girl right there. Seriously though, the movie's actually really good. And I'm excited to see how it ends because I was actually tired last night. Ooh, Daddy's Girl. What's that about? I've been in a horror movie mood lately. Sweet 11-year-old Jody conceals a dark persona beneath. Oh, it has two stars out of five. If a movie on Netflix typically, get, typically has less than three stars, I usually don't give it a chance because that's usually pretty accurate. <laughs> so in other words, it sucks. Don't waste your time on movies that are rated two stars and lower. Not good. Not good! Anyway, enough babbling. Let's heat up some quesadilla. <laughs> and a very random sausage that I throw in there. And there's my mask. And my tarp, if you want to call it that. No, it's kind of like my uh, robe. Yeah, robe. I'm keeping it up here that way. 
doesn't hit the ground or anything and get even more fur on it because I'm going to have to defur it tomorrow. I guess Maui got close to me or something. But yes, I am looking... Oh, speaking of Maui, I don't know if you can see him. He's right outside. Yeah. But speaking of... What was I going to say? I don't even know what I was going to say. But anyway, tomorrow night's going to be a lot of fun at the party. Yes, expect me to get quite drunk again. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm looking very forward to that because I love taking my shots. I love Twisted Tea. I love just chilling with friends around the campfire. We're probably going to play... Um, What's that? Oh, Cards Against Humanity. My mind is not here tonight. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I will do my best to get video. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to get some good video. So stay tuned for that. But that's not going to be until at least 10 or 20 minutes from now. Well, there you have it. The glass house is complete. And I still think it was a good movie. But I checked Rotten Tomatoes. It got a 21%, which is not good at all. I often have like completely opposite opinions of movie critics. So either my opinion sucks, I'm not meant to be a movie critic, or just movie critics in general cannot be trusted. I'm not really sure. But hey, I liked it. I guess that's all that matters, right? Anyway, if you're looking for a movie you enjoy, watch out. I mean, watch watch The Glass House. It came out in like 2001, I think. So. You most likely have seen it already. I'm a little behind the times. But hey, better late than never, right? Hey, Mal. What you doing? All right, well, it's 1 o'clock. Tonight, I'm going to, I guess, work on Brand Rocket for a little more. Uh, I have a few things I want to get done. And then tomorrow, I'll finally have some me time with gaming because I have not played my games in, like, at least two weeks. I've just been so busy. So I'm going to play The Last of Us again tomorrow before going to the Halloween party. So it should be a pretty pretty good weekend overall. And yes, I realize you guys can barely see me because low light on the GoPro sucks. You know what? It's alright. Reader gets to my profile. You got 10 to 15 seconds to engage someone. Starting off with your photo. Good morning, my fellow viewers. It is I, still, David DeFranco, what do you think of Vlog is Vlog? Potu, Potu, guys, Potu. I'm listening to Social Media Examiner, uh, the podcast. Some LinkedIn whisperer is giving LinkedIn tips. And it's actually very interesting because I don't take LinkedIn that seriously, and it's one of those platforms that I should take more seriously, especially since I'm so big with branding nowadays. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to check it out, search Social Media Examiner. And you'll most likely enjoy it. At least if you're like me and you like branding, you like social media, marketing, all that stuff. It really is fascinating stuff. Alright, it's already like 12 o'clock. So let's make coffee, get my day started, and then party tonight. So today should be a pretty good day. It is nasty out today. Man, the trick or treaters lucked out this year. One day after Halloween, it's a complete washout. I guess you could say that's good timing. Now, I am a bit concerned because we usually have a campfire at Crescent Tiffs, but I'm pretty sure they cover the wood just in case, you know, of days like this when it rains. So we should still be having the campfire, and we don't usually have our fire until like 10 at night. So I highly doubt it's gonna be raining all day, so not a big deal. If anything, the background noise of the rain is relaxing from when I work okay. because even though it's Saturday, uh, let's talk images I will be getting work to done. Profile, I see um, I'm gonna work on the Brand Rocket newsletter. I'm gonna publish images, a new post like on Brand Twitter. Rocket. Like I feel like I'm yelling because my podcast is loud. So yes, today should be pretty productive uh, the for a Saturday anyway. Ron at uh, San Diego Social Media Day, and and uh, so that's where that was. So so how do you, what what can you do with images on your profile? Because it's pretty cool what I see you doing. You. Disconnected. Bye bye. And look, here are the rest of my tattoos. I'll be wearing at least one of them tonight. Probably something more simple, like that, as it kind of looks like gunshot wounds. I mean, I know it's a vampire bite, but, but I mean, it looks like bullets could have gone through there, thus making holes in my face or something. We'll see. And yes, as you can see, I managed to get the tattoo off my face. That tattoo looked pretty freaking awesome. So shout out to Loot Crate for hooking me up with these. I mean, these are really, really impressive. And look at that. 
Proudly made in the USA. Very cool. Turn off the cube, turn on the light, and let's get some work done. Shout out to Aaron, let me see, Aaron Smith and Anna Perillo. You guys both just pledged $5 each. Thank you so much. Your pledges help me so, so much, guys. Really, they do. Coffee. Putting down the coffee with horrible camera work using my left hand. But yeah, speaking of Patreon, you guys, seriously, your support is really helping me out a lot. I really do mean that. So thank you so much for your support via Patreon, my videos, everything. I mean, thank you for getting me this far. I'm not quitting or anything. This isn't a goodbye speech. Um, if anything, I'm still just kind of getting started. Um, but I have had a few people ask me privately on email and whatever saying, David, I want to get you a Christmas gift, so what do you want? Well, first of all, only do that if you can truly afford it. I don't want people spending money on me if they can't afford it. I mean, you always come before me. Always, always, always remember that. Your needs always come before mine. Um, but anyway, I do appreciate the offer, and if you really do want to get me something for Christmas, become a patron. That's all I want. Become a $5 patron. Get access to the rewards, co-host with me on my Google Plus Hangouts, and we'll all have a great time. And who knows, we could hit my first uh, milestone goal on Patreon at $1,500 per month by December. And if we do, that means I'll do weekly live streams, you know, via Ustream, YouTube, Google Plus, my PS4, my Xbox One, just Twitch in general. So, like I said, I'm still kind of just getting started, and I look very forward to the future, all thanks to you. I shouldn't have pointed it's rude, but in that sense, it was kind of dramatic, in a good way. <laughs> Holy crap! This is a flashback to my freaking childhood! Isn't it weird, even like, maybe 15 years later, this music is still in your head? It's amazing how the human mind works. Well, the human brain, I should say. Kind of the same thing. Oh my god. Which reptile is this a part of? This music sounds familiar too! You're right. I'm a Tyrannosaurus Rex and those are my teeth. <laughs> it's so cheesy! This is the 3D dinosaur adventure game that I was talking about in my newest Ask Me Anything video, so I did a quick YouTube search or whatever. This is taking me back, although I still cannot find that room I used to play around in on our old Packer Bell computer. And someone said it's Packard Bell Navigator. I wish it was that easy. It's not Packard Bell Navigator. I just can't figure out the name. I can't find a video on it. But if I ever do find it, I will let you guys know in a future video. I love flashing back, guys. I mean, this... I'm so freaking nostalgic. This stuff just is just so much fun. So, question to you. Okay, this weekend's question. What is one of your favorite memories of looking back on your like first computer, your first experience with the internet. What is something that will never leave, leave your mind in terms of digital things? So let me know, comment right below. God, I miss Torok too. I was a huge fan of Torok, Dinosaur Hunter. Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, right? Let me see. Torok, Dinosaur Hunter. I turned on Dictation. It didn't understand Torok, but yeah, uh, Torok was one of my favorite games on the N64. I will never forget. And if my memory serves me correctly, I believe Torok 2: Seeds of Evil was pretty damn hard. At least for me back then. Obviously, I'm a lot smarter nowadays, so I'm curious to see how I would fare. But as I've said before, one of my long-term goals as a geek, as a fellow gamer, whatever, is to have an ultimate gaming room one day. Whereas I have all of my classic gaming consoles, all the next-gen gaming consoles, even a custom-made gaming PC, which I used to have. I sold it a while ago um, when I got my first, first Mac. But yeah, I just love living back. I just love re reliving these memories, so it's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm kind of drifting into childhood memories right now.
My newest article on Brand Rocket is now live. Five steps to easily creating a website. So, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for the, uh, <laughs> the arrow keys. Um, I'm laughing too because Maui's licking himself, making noises in the background. Hey, Mal. Maui, say hi. Say hi, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I don't know. I'm feeling hyper right now. I need to eat, and then... I might make a video, guys. I might make a video, because I have a feeling I'm going to lose my voice tonight. Because you know me at my parties, I always yell a lot and act like an idiot. So... I, I, I want to make a video while I can. Although Tuesday's video is already up for my patrons, which is good. But I want to get Wednesday's video done. You know what? It's, it's probably my unboxing of Simple Cam. Might as well get that open and set up. That way I can look at it from the party tonight. So that'll actually be a good example of viewing the camera away from my home. Rude, Maui. It's like his new thing. He constantly goes on the counters. I don't know what I want for lunch. Ooh. Maybe I'll make one of these pasta things. They're always good. Cheddar, broccoli. It's easy, too. We'll see. The day is young. It's only 1.21. I'll probably leave here around 6. So, sounds good to me. And yes, it's still raining out, in case you're curious. Alright, so let me share this new blog post real quick on Twitter and Facebook. It's getting pretty windy out. This branch just fell, apparently. I just noticed it out back. That's a good sized branch. I'll put it here for now. Anyway, I'm going around the side of the house real quick to turn off the AC because, yeah, we're definitely not going to need the AC anymore this season. It's getting pretty cold out. I think it's going down to like 41 Fahrenheit tonight, which is pretty cool. And I think I'm going to finally turn the heat on tonight. Yeah, I mean, especially since I'm not going to be home overnight. Just can't risk anything's happening with pipes. Or, you know, stuff like that. Alright, how do you do this again? That's right, you just slide it down. Take this out. Turn it around. Slide it in. And AC is off. So, peace. I'll see you in the spring. Yeah, it's getting a little cold out here. You can kind of see my breath. God, it's wet out today. My fingers are cold. I gotta suck it up and just turn the heat on. Don't be cheap. Especially for Maui. I don't want him being cold. Even though cats can get warm easier than humans can. They just gotta bundle up in a little ball. But I'm gonna have to turn the heat on eventually, so. Might as well be now, November 1st. By the way, guys, happy November! Ooh, it's chilly out there. It smells good in here. I'm making my rice. Hey guys, here we go. Turning the heat on. Oh, sorry, Crash. <laughs> crash Bandicoot just fell. Turning the heat on for the first time in months. Switch this to heat. And let's put it on 68 for now, just as a test. And listen for it. Yep, there it goes. And the rice is looking good. It's kind of just simmering for now. Getting all soft, ready for my mouth. You know. There it is. The heat is on. Now the only thing that sucks about this is the heat comes out. I mean, it like, it like outputs right on my electronics, my receiver. Now my receiver doesn't use a traditional power supply, so it's not a big deal. But typically, I like to put a piece of cardboard behind my receiver. That way, um, the heat doesn't go directly into it. Because, as you know, receivers have all those holes up top. So the heat comes out and, well, heat rises. So it's not a huge deal. But I basically don't want my Xbox One or anything like that overheating. So it's all good. It's got to make some little compromises here and there to make everything balanced and working. All right, I think it's time for lunch, guys. I think it's time for lunch. 
Let's do this, because I'm pretty hungry. And I suppose I can turn this off for now. That's what's nice about having the choice of space heater or heat in the house, because if I don't want to use oil, for instance, if I'm going to bed, I might just have the space heater on for an hour, you know, as a sleep timer. And then I'll turn the heat on the following morning to get the house nice and warm. Ooh, this rice looks banging, yo. I do love me some broccoli. Mm, look at that. Yes. Time to eat. There you have it. I just unboxed the Siplicam, which I gotta say is a very interesting design. It's similar to the drop cam. It might even be a bit bigger. Sorry, I have these two hands there. But that's pretty cool. And guys, look at this. They actually put a lot of effort in, into uh, their packaging. If anything, it felt like I was unboxing an Apple product. I mean, look at this. They did a nice job of coiling this extremely long USB cable. Even the power adapter is smaller than the one used by Dropcam. So this alone impresses me. So as always, stay tuned for my review on this. And of course, if you want to watch the unboxing, that should be live by Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. I just looked at Twitter and my mom's there. It's always weird to see that because I'm not, I'm not used to, I mean, I'm not ever expecting it. And there is my mom. I know exactly where they are. They're in that little uh, place by the outlets in Atlantic City because they're currently at the RV show. I mean, there's another RV show in February. I think this one that, that they're at today is a smaller one. So they're kind of getting a, an early look at what could be their next camper upgrade. And yes, we are still going camping next weekend, hopefully. I mean, if it's like this, then no. We actually lucked out that this did not end up being our camping weekend because it's just miserable out. But hopefully next Saturday, even if it's cool, we don't care because the camper is heat. Just as long as it's not raining, then we should go camping. And I really hope we do it because I honestly thought last time would be our last visit at Driftwood for 2014. So if we do go, I'm excited. So expect a vlog of that, hopefully. That is not bad. Not bad. Guys, look at the quality. Look at the, quality. the quality is really, really good. And the app design, look at that. The colors on the chart or whatever down there indicate some kind of change in motion or audio. Something the drop cam does not do. So that's pretty sweet. First impressions, very positive. The quality is awesome. The onboard microphone on this is better than the drop cam and it sounds louder, it sounds clearer. It's cool, it's cool. Drop cam, you guys have got some competition on your hands. Just saying. Owie, want to go outside? Yeah. Come on. You can go outside for a bit. I mean, it's raining. I don't know why you like to go out in the rain, but whatever floats your boat. Get it? Floats your boat. Water. Boats float on water. Yeah, that was mostly an accident. Yeah, man, we got Go, 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 go. Good boy. Be careful. I'm just letting him... Get it out of his system before I leave because obviously I'll bring it back in before I go to the party. I'm leaving here around 5.30. Tiff, Tiff wants to go to uh, Canals with me, liquor store. So I'll go to their house first. Then get the Twisted T. Yeah, man, the Twisted T, man. Would you still watch my videos if I look like this the whole time? Guys, I love coffee. I really do. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how I know how to entertain myself? This is normal. Ghost face head just hanging on my cabinet. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee before I go. And I'm gonna play The Last of Us for about 45 minutes or so, which isn't a while, but I at least wanna play. Cause like I said last night, guys, I have not played a video game in probably two weeks cause I've barely been home. So I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna get my Joel on, get my Ellie on, get my clicker on, and whatever else is in that game. Bing! But tomorrow, tomorrow, since I'm gonna feel like crap, I know, because I'm gonna have some fun tonight. Tomorrow is my chill day. 
I'm not going to work on Brand Rocket, really. I'm not going to do any graphic design work, at least as far as I'm concerned. But you know me, I could end up working anyway. Because I like, I mean, I honestly do love what I do. So sometimes I get sucked into my work. But tomorrow, I'm going to try my best to relax. And just play The Last of Us. And maybe even watch a movie. So that could be fun. Milk. Nice. I forgot about the PlayStation 2.0 update. So that should be pretty cool to explore. We're all in like these big fur outfits. And that's on camera. Have a coat. Dude, so what up? What's up? Coat. What are you? No, it's because what do you think? <laughs> Let's get it Pikachu afraid. with half a rosy cheek or whatever. Is it really that bad? Yeah. No. Well, it's like three quarters there. Look, it's, it's on there. You can see yeah, it. It's not at all. Like he's makeup. I know. What is that anyway? Oh, fuck it's just it. like face blush? paint. Oh, oh, it's it's like Halloween face paint. Oh, I thought it was like women's makeup or something. No. Yeah. I'm not that good. Uh, that was sweet. It wheat was sweet. Sauce. That is young. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Tip, what are you doing? I am filling my shot what head up with shots. Sour apple. Are you doing that right now or later? No, I'm doing them later. I'm going to put okay, them in the good. freezer. I was going to say, I just had one. I'm going to be drunk. This is like my eighth one. Three. That breeze feels good. <laughs> Feel that? That breeze feels amazing. Uh, it's a nice drink of choice. Twisted tea, no. half and half. No. Like always. No. We already killed the whole bottle. Look at this. Yep. And it's already 12:30. No, her clock's wrong. <laughs> yep. It's Halloween. Why not? What's going on, dude? He's getting a makeup. Put on the dry ready? clean. Turn to me. I love your eyes. <laughs> uh, I thought you. That, that's all we give any other night. Wait, yes, I can. Oh. Probably you want, you want to like wet your tongue a little bit with your spit? <laughs> 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 it actually looks really cool. <laughs> that's gangster right there. It is. Pink unicorn. I am I'm setting standards. Dance off, go. Just pretend that it's like You gotta wait for the drop. <laughs> the drop. Come on, dude, go! You're up first. Go ahead. I need my drink again. <laughs> need your drink. <laughs> nice cheeks. I like your eyeliner. Thank you. <laughs> I look pretty. Pretty and pink. Dude, dance. Come on. You dance. I'm not dancing yet. Yeah. Later. Yeah, I'm not even tipsy yet. I need more to drink. Uh, yeah, I agree. Is that it? Am I, am I, am I stopping? Yeah. Is that? Oh, whatever. Shout out to my cleaver Wait, users. He's got eyeshadow. He's got eyeshadow. One purple, one black. You like my makeup, ladies? You're sure I'm she's taller than you. Is that a fireball <laughs> shot? <laughs> yeah. I'm done. If anyone wants to feel tall, just stand next to me. Just saying. I'm tall. Yeah. Okay. Short. Um, actually, I was the shortest boy in eighth grade. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's way tall. He's Does everyone tall have a shot? They want one. What are you? Four. Four eleven. Two. You need a shot. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry, Paul, but you still have to drink it. Why do I have the most? I'm scared. Why do I have the most? Don't blow it up. You don't blow it. I see what you're trying to do. You're supposed to suck it in. You can't blow it on the floor and then say you drank it. You have to drink it. Why do I drink this stuff? Because you were told to. God. Because you were told to. <laughs> That's right, Daddy. Bitch. You were told to. Yeah. Other songs so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You like my Pika hat? Chris! Where did it come from? <laughs> the kitchen! <laughs> basement! Basement! What? You jealous of my black mark? I know you want me less It's gone! No, it's not. I don't, no, it is. I don't, I don't, oh, it's red. No, I have a black one too. I don't see it anywhere. Seriously, I don't. No, dude, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. She did me first. <laughs> she did me second. Probably, probably wore off of this again. She didn't want to kiss this side. She wanted to kiss this side. She's pretty, she's pretty hot. She's in her pocket too. She's like Boy George. She's like the. She's in college, so. College is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got my ear wobbling. Let's right not there. forget, I started the makeup trend tonight. They're all in the bathroom doing their makeup because of me. That's not a good thing. So that a guy started doing makeup. If you want to get marks in your cheek, 
just put makeup on. Proven tonight. I had it before you and I don't have makeup on. Chris just kissed himself. Don't believe it. <laughs> I kissed myself on the cheek. Chris, fireball! Come on! Yes! Do you want fireball, David? David, you want fireball? This is not porno, Josh. <laughs> You're drunk. You're dropping yeah, shit everywhere. What is this? That's a weird cap. Fireball uh, or green apple? What's wrong? A nice steamy shot. Levitating <laughs> 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 on balls. You Why are you pumping my wife? <laughs> my wife? Is it? You're right. It's weird. I told you it's weird. <laughs> it's not your wife. It's your hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me that ever again. My wife? My oh. wife? <laughs> Josh, you look different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks better than like, I took a Jerry curl. curl Tips on the day. floor a lot tonight. <laughs> Kick your watches down. It's your fucking Elvis curl. <laughs> Get off the floor. <laughs> Take my strong hand. Take it, ho. Fine. <laughs> Suffer. I can't do with this right now. You look good. <laughs> I'm I watching this on YouTube and I'm like, what the hell? I tap it. I'm not even that drunk. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm not even that drunk yet. Oh, the night is young. This is for Clay for not joining us at our wedding. Yeah! Make it up for it. Make it up for it. This is for me wearing a wig. Now, nice. you look really good in that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's like liquid candy. Oh, I broke something. Okay, Pika. Pika's That's an alcoholic. Review? First taste? Of what? What? This water. isn't my first... Water? <laughs> this, isn't tank. <laughs> this isn't my first taste of alcoholic. Toronto. Toronto, Canada? You just tasted Canada. No, Toronto, New Jersey. Really? I didn't know that, that... existed. Okay, Me neither. Cool. This is for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording right now. Wait for the bowl. Hey, viewers! I didn't know you were there. <laughs> Oh, Chris. Chris, good job. Ooh. Pika penis. Dude, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. My Pika penis knocked him over. Dude, it's not even midnight and we were out. Fix him. I'm trying. Why are the pins have faces? What are we kids? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize I had yeah, faces. They have faces. <laughs> what, are they five? Not to be gay about it. It counts. It counts. It counts. Get it. it counts. Get it. Fair. Do it. What the? You suck, dude. You're not supposed to throw it down the alley. Oh my 1080p TV. <laughs> I'm 
machine. What is that? Drop the beat. Oh, it's chicks. I'm good. They're hot. <laughs> Yeah, quickly things change. Give her up. What? That's your wife wagging her boots to them in the front. We should put it in the front, dude. Fine. The chicks. Put what? It in the front. Leave that in there. <laughs> Damn it! Don't throw it like that. <laughs> Leave it in there. We're throwing it. I, I will. You're right. Are so we leaving? We all change ourselves. Yes. Don't leave us. Uh -oh. We're all like, woo! Rude. <laughs> What's happening? The world. the world is ending. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I have a headache. This music doesn't help. Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> where did that come from? Oh band. god. <laughs> yeah. The rubber band ball is more bouncing than that was. <laughs> You guys should be dancing that because I have no clue what's going on right now. Neither do I. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm just, I'm We're just over head. here. Like, we don't know what's going on right now. Night at the Roxbury. Wait, this is I'm cold. tired of the K-pop party. Yeah, let's put some dubstep on. How's the lighting on that? Oh, you can't tell. Terrible, probably. <laughs> the low light sucks. Woo, party time! <laughs> the lens is facing that way. I know it's a wide angle, but this it's wide <laughs> angle! Is that Mario? Mario! Mario! Is this Mario? Mario, Mario or K-pop? What do you say, Mario or Mario? Mario. Mario? I say Mario, yeah. We're gonna get yelled at. It's a Jersey thing, I Mario. 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 You live in Philly? Yeah. I say Mario. Jersey? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if anything, if that makes you. us laugh, man, we're drunk. <laughs> High five. I need one more shot. I'm locked in a closet with a shovel. <laughs> Don't shut the light off! My costume is caught in the door! <laughs> Which of all the cars? Help! Oh, okay. Right there. Right there. Bye bye. Oh no, I'm scared. I watch a lot of horror movies. We killed Dad. He's, just... He's freaking out. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's I'm a closet. Okay. I saw the red light flash in the camera. I wonder how much we're getting all the film in there. Go ahead. Say hi to him. Hello, dude. <laughs> dude, take this. Take it. What? Take it. What? Take it. <laughs> take it. Yes, take it. Wait. Take it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Death, come back! <laughs> there he I'm is. Company. What? Come here. Ew, no, you homo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no. This is not seven in heaven. Someone join him. You join him. You're a chick. Come in there. I'm not a chick. Go. I have You're a not a chick. <laughs> okay, I'm good. You good? <laughs> Shotting. <laughs> this? <laughs> what alcohol? Amaretto, right? Y'all doing Amaretto? I guess. I've never had Amaretto. It's sweet. 
So you gotta Damn. do it. Damn. You're on camera. You gotta do it now. Do it. I can't. Do it. <laughs> no, can't do it. Come on, dude. You have braids. You gotta do it. <laughs> what? Well, what are we doing? A fireball. I can't. But he won't do it. Oh, it's right there? there? Yeah. Man, can you do it for me, please? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Maria, you do it. Do yeah. it. Maria, I do it. Maria. I just want that. I just want to do fireball. I hate cinnamon. Just real quick. Just throw it down. No, I can't. I've, I've done it before. It was horrible. God. <laughs> Everyone went out to breakfast but me. I did not feel like getting up, guys. I'm actually even surprised they went out to breakfast. They don't they don't usually do that. But hey, they asked if I wanted to go. I'm like, no, nah, I don't feel like getting up yet. I'm still tired. Hey, Jade. And plus, I had to take my makeup off and change out of my costume. Yes, I'm still in my costume. So yeah, I'm just going to take my makeup off. Return to looking somewhat normal. Normal enough anyway to get a Wawa to get lunch. I'm craving a turkey hoagie because we were talking about Wawa last night. So I think that's what I'll get. So let's get this off, shall we? Not a ugly. I think I cleaned up pretty nicely. Don't worry, I'll get an actual shower when I get home. Again, I just want to be, be, be presentable for my kingdom that is Wawa. I'm loyalty there, guys. When I walk in, everyone gets on their knees. They're like, Master David, Master David, what will it be today? A 20 ounce coffee for the turkey classic bogey? I'm like, yes, slaves. Nah, I don't talk like that. Good times last night. Really, really good times. Met some new peeps. I had fun. Shout out to Chris and Tiff for a good time. One of those, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, it's good times. I didn't get like stupidly drunk, which is why I feel fine right now. And my voice is decent, which is really cool. Hell yeah. I think it was a summertime thing, like with allergies maybe. I don't know, because notice my voice hasn't been going out in recent weekend vlogs. It's a very good thing, because I hate my voice. So it's good. Screw you, Rite Aid! Anti-Apple Pay! I don't mind if you're anti-Apple Pay. What's going on here? What's going on here? Can I not go over there? Jeez. Well, how the hell do I get home then? Oh dear lord, I'm trapped, guys. There's a cop block in the intersection. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going towards the mall now. I don't care if you're anti-Apple Pay. What makes me mad and other consumers mad is that CVS and Rite Aid had Apple Pay support for a few days. And then they took it back. You don't do that to your customers. I mean, you either support Apple Pay or you don't. I mean, I don't, I don't mind if you don't support Apple Pay from day one. But the fact that you ripped it from your consumers after a few days... That's not good business. That's not good business at all. These apartments are expensive. Kingswick Apartments, anyone know where those are? They, they all look decent. But they're really, really expensive. Especially when you compare it to what I have now. Oh wait, hold on. I can go past the Dunkin' Donuts, turn right, then turn right again, then turn left maybe. I wonder why there's a police officer there. Looks like they're working on something. Well, that's not very convenient, is it? I don't care. There are worse problems in this world. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. I guess I can make it right here. Yeah, this will work. Should have done this from the beginning. And then make a left. Life hack. I am home. I got milk. Yes, I have to clean my oven, so please disregard that mess. Today's kind of my cleanup day, too, so that'll be one of my goals. Of course, my watch, Harry Pepsi. 20 ounce coffee. And finally, my first gobbler of the year. That's basically Wawa's way of saying turkey sandwich. Hot turkey sandwich. Although, I just found out today by looking at the touch screen, they actually have cold gobblers now. So that could be interesting. I'm a little scared of that, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, the whole gobbler thing is famous because apparently people get cranberries on it with stuffing and whatever. I get mine with stuffing and gravy. But I don't do the cranberries. I, I love cranberries. At least the canned cranberries are really good. But I don't like mixing cranberry with my turkey. It kind of offsets the taste a little too much in my opinion. Uh, so I get lettuce and tomato instead. Because I love me some lettuce and tomato. Especially tomato. I'm a tomato aficionado. Or aficionado. However you say that word. I've always had problems with that word. Alright. Let's see how this sandwich looks. Then let's watch some The Office, I guess? Yeah, let's watch a random episode of The Office. Or a random horror movie. I've been in a horror movie mood lately. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Oh yes, look at this mess. I say mess in a good way. I love sloppy sandwiches. Bangin'. First taste for 2014. Cheers. I'm not really gonna hit the lens this time. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love that stuffing. Mmm. It's all over me. Turkey. I love this time of year, guys. I really do. Oh god. <laughs> the office makes me cry from laughing. I've seen these episodes like a million times, but. It never gets old. This is the only show that I can watch over and over again. I never get tired of it. <sighs> I'm such a big fan of The Office. I'm obsessed. You know, I forgot to turn my Mac Pro off last night. So it's probably nice and cold. Oh my god. Oh baby. You are cold. <laughs> Dear lord. This cold metal. I hear meow meow. It's so dark in here. I gotta open some windows. Come on, Maui. Welcome to hell. Hey, Maui. Oh. Mm. Did you have fun last night? Did you celebrate? <laughs> it was so funny. At some point, I was showing Chris my Simpli Cam. By the way, the quality looks awesome because we were watching Maui using the Simpli Cam app, or Closeli app more accurately. And Chris was saying, one of these days we're going to turn the camera on and Maui's going to have like 80 cats to wear for, for, for like some cat orgy. And I just started laughing. Could you imagine turning on a camera and seeing like 80 cats? <laughs> that would just be funny. Hey, I thought it was funny. Maui. Your box is still here. You know, I could have easily thrown that away weeks ago when I kept it for you. Because you're my key, right? You're my key. You know it. I need to sweep. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna turn in early. It's not even 1 p.m. and I am wrapping up the weekend vlog only because I started on Monday. Yeah, Monday. Really, David? Why do I say the things that I say? Only because I started on Friday uh, and I recorded a lot at the party, which is good because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. But I actually got a lot of clips. And honestly, guys, today, I'm tired. So I want to get this done. I want to edit the weekend vlog, upload the weekend vlog, hopefully for my patrons. I have never, ever had my patrons. Uh, I mean, I've never had my weekend vlog up. So I keep getting notifications. I've never had my weekend vlog up early enough for patrons to view. And honestly, I had a dream about it last night. Yes, I dreamt about my weekend vlog. <laughs> Um, so I was proud of myself to be able to let my patrons watch it a day ahead of time. So guys, with that said, 
Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I apologize if I acted like an idiot last night. But hey, you know what? You gotta have fun in life. And as always, I stayed the night. I was safe. Do not drink and drive. That is the stupidest thing you could ever do in life. No excuse for that whatsoever. So Maui, this is it. Say goodbye. All right then, it's good enough. Anyway guys, thank you so much again for your support. Have an incredible week, be productive, try new things, try new ideas, and always do what you believe in. That's kind of like my motivational thing lately. So guys, thanks again, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.